trigonometry essentials for your upcoming exam. Pythagoras is is a rule that applies to right angle triangles. The theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, the longest side of the triangle is the hypotenuse, and we always label this c. To remember this, remember that c is always opposite the right angle. Then you can label the other sides a and b. Take the length of side A to be 5 cm and the length of B to be 7 cm. Apply the formula, so 5 cm squared plus 7 cm squared equals 74 cm squared. Now remember this equals C squared, so to get to C we want to square root 74 and that gives us 8.60232 and so on. But we need to round this up to one decimal place so it's 8.6 centimeters. That is the answer for the side length of C. Here's a question for you to do. Take the length of this side to be 10 centimeters and the length of this side to be 12 centimeters. Work out the length of x. Pause here. Okay, now let's check if you got the right answer. So apply, label the triangle. This is C, it's A and B. Apply the formula, so A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So you do 10 squared and 12 squared equals 244. And remember this is C squared, so again to get to C you must square root 244, which gives you 15 Point six to one decimal place. Did you get this answer? If you did, you can move on. If you didn't, then pause and go back and do more questions. Trigonometry is fairly simple. It's along the same lines as Pythagoras. The rule is so ka to. I'll explain what this means in a bit. Now, you label the triangles again, just like you would with Pythagoras' theorem, except this time you label it a bit different. This is labelled H. Now, as you can, you should probably know, this is the hypotenuse. Now, here in this example, we've been given an angle. The opposite side is always the side opposite the angle you're given, and you label that O. And then the remaining side is A. Um, um, now I'm going to explain the rule. What this rule means is sine x equals O over h cos x equals Okay. This basically just means that the angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse and so on for the rest. Now let's work out the side length x which is O. You're going to need to find out which one of these three formulas you need to use. So look at your triangle. Here we have the hypotenuse given to us and an angle. So if you look on here, if you have the hypotenuse and an angle given but you want to find the opposite, then you'll use this rule. And you'll just do the same with any other triangle. Um, so let's put the values in. So you do sine 30 equals O over 24 centimetres. Now we're looking for O, so you have to rearrange the formula. So you would rearrange it to make it sine 30 
times 24 centimeters equals O. Now you work this out on your calculator. So you just do sine 30 times 24 and you're given 12. So the answer is O equals 12 centimeters. Does that? Yeah. Now pause here and work out the side length here. Remember to label the triangles and we'll see if you've done it correctly after. Okay, now let's see if you did it correct. So label the triangles, uh, the sides I mean. This is H and we have an angle here, so the opposite side of the angle is this side. And we're looking for this side, which is the adjacent. Write out your rule. Okay, now look what you need to find. We need to find the adjacent, and we've been given an angle and the hypotenuse. So what rule is that? Cosine rule. It's the cat part. So write that out as well. Cos x equals a over h. Now remember, you have to rearrange the formula if you're going to find that. So it would be cos x times h equals a. Now put the values in. So cos 40 times 15 equals. Now let's work that out on the calculator. We get 11.49, etc. And you round that up to two decimal places. So it will give you 11.49 centimeters equals side A. If you got this answer, uh, you can move on. If you didn't, pause and go back and do some other questions until you're confident with it. Sometimes we are given questions that are a little bit, this little bit harder in trigonometry. So this is when we're trying to find out the angle. Now write out the rule again. So, and label the triangle. So remember this is H because it's the hypotenuse. The angle is there, so this side would be the opposite of the angle. And the remaining side is the adjacent. So what rule do we use? Well, we have the adjacent and the opposite, and we want the angle, so we want to use tan. So write out the rule. Now, here's where it gets a little bit harder. We need to make this tan inverse uh, over x, because we are doing the inverse operation as normal trig functions are to find the sides using the angles we are given, whereas inverse is to find angles using the sides we are given. So put the uh, values in. So you do tan minus 20 over 13. Put this into your calculator. Do you now to do this you click shift tan and it will come up with tan inverse and then you just put the values in and you get given 56 point no you get given 57 because you round up to one two significant figures so you get given so the angle Angle X is 57 degrees. Pause here and have a go at this question using the inverse trig. Okay, now let's see if you've got it right. First, label the triangle. And again, this is the longest side, so you label it H. The angle is here, so the opposite side, this is O. And the remaining side is A. Now you write out the... You write out Sokotur again. 
and you look and see which part you need again. So we, here we have the adjacent and the opposite again, and we want to find an angle, so again we will use tan. Now remember, it's tan inverse, so you do tan inverse O over A, put the values in, tan inverse 14 over 10, I'll do this on your calculator, tan inverse 14 over 10, and that gives you equals 54, yep, 54 degrees, so the angle, angle equals 54 degrees. If you got this answer, you can, you are finished. If you didn't, pause here and go back and do a couple practice questions until you're familiar with it.